Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Green Valley Digital Classes. In previous lectures, we discussed two chapters that is, introduction to the management and principles of management. Today, what we are supposed to discuss is business environment, a very important and very relevant topic as far as our current circumstances are considered. When we say business environment, simply means business environment, the environment of the business. And what do we mean by environment? It simply means surroundings. So, these surroundings which are of business and this surrounding has an effect on this business. Either this effect is positive or this effect is negative. So, if something around the business changes, be it political conditions, be it economic conditions, be it competition, be it technology. All these will have certain effect on the business and they either will be positive or they will be negative. Some famous scholar said that if this whole is the universe and this part is our business, so this business comprises the business organization and except this business everything else is its environment so you can understand so our business has a small portion of this total environment and our business is smaller part and rest everything else comprises of what we call as business environment so if we formally define this business environment we can say that it is the sum total of forces, factors, institutions and individuals which have an effect on operations and business profitability so if we analyze this definition first it comprises of certain forces one certain factors certain institutions and individuals so if we say there are four forces four things there are certain forces there are certain factors there are certain institutions and there are certain individuals so they all comprise what we call as the sum total of business environment it has some forces it has some factors it has some institutions and certain individuals if we give an example of each and everything when we say forces let's say political systems or economic systems of a country they can uh, comprise of forces and factors then we say institutions rival firms individuals competitors or we can say customers we can say employees so all of them have certain impact on the working and operations of our business and in the end they affect the profitability so these forces will change and they will create either positive or a negative effect for a business and its working and its profitability but one more important thing in this definition is that it is the sum total which implies that these forces do not act individually they all combine they all converge one affecting the other and thus collectively having the impact on the working and the profitability of the business so if we sum up this definition it is the sum total of these forces factors institutions and individuals which have an effect on operations and business profitability now coming to the features of the business environment as we have discussed in the definition also that the feature of the business environment is that it is the sum total 
of factors. So if we say that there are five to six to seven forces in the business environment, they will not act individually. They will collectively affect the business. Or we can say it is the totality of forces. They sum up, they combine, they converge and creating a complex situation and a complex force. So second feature is because they sum up these forces, force number one, force number two, force number three, they all add up creating a bigger force and creating a complex force which is very difficult to understand. Then it creates uncertainty. As we know, we don't predict, we cannot predict how environment will change how it will affect yes we know it will change but how it will change whether it will create some positive impact or negative impact for our business we do not know so business environment creates uncertainty or business environment we can say is uncertain as we do not understand we cannot predict that how these forces will change what time they will take or whether they will have a positive or a negative impact on our business then It creates certain degree of risk because uncertainty is there so risk is always there then we have <coughs> relativeness relativeness implies to it varies from one place to another we can say India US and UK three geographical areas having their respected businesses in their respective areas but the environment in India is not same as in US and is not same as in UK so they are all having different environments and each environment creates new set of opportunities new sets new set of threats so the environment of India is unique to India USA is unique to itself and environment of UK is unique to itself in its own country so they are related or relative in nature that they will have a different impact in every country technological environment may be very important in India but may not be in US and UK political environment very important in India they may not have the same impact in US or UK so that is relativeness then interrelated like we said in the sum totality they join they converge why they converge because they are interrelated a simple example I will provide when a political system changes a new party comes to its existence when this political party comes to power it affects the legal system this legal system affects socio-cultural system and this socio-cultural system may affect demographic system you can see one change has caused change in legal system and then economic system and then social system and then demographic system so they are having interrelatedness because if there is a change in one element of the system it creates a ripple effect in another elements of the environment so thus the forces that are present in our business environment is interrelated and because they are interrelated it creates a complex force and they all converge together and collectively affect the business so if we represent this in a diagram for example you have force 1 you have force 2 you have force 3 you have force 4 and you have fifth force so f1 changes it will create a change in f2 it will create a change in f3 it will create a change in f4 and it will create a change in f5 but the problem is again multiplied because these forces converge to form a bigger force which will affect our business now the problem is 
we know the forces but we do not know which force changed and what changes it can bring in all other forces all we see is that this force changed and it is affecting our business so this makes the business environment a very complex force and very difficult to understand we cannot say it's impossible but yes it is difficult to understand because it converges it is the sum total of the forces then it creates a complex force which is made up of five to six elements and they are interrelated if one changes others will also change so i cannot say whether f5 changed and because of that others changed because f1 changed because of others changed no one changed others are changing so all the other forces have changed and creating a new set of force which is affecting our business now another part of this business environment is its prime feature that business environment can be split into two parts or it has two elements so business environment has general environment and one part is specific environment we can represent it like this and so this is general environment and a smaller part of it is specific environment let's talk of a specific environment it is also called immediate environment which is closer to the business which affects the business quickly rapidly so this specific environment changes fast and quickly and rapidly affects the business core elements of specific environment is customers competitors employees suppliers so these are some of the elements of specific environment it is simple to understand what if customers are not satisfied with my business their taste or preference can change rapidly in a quick succession of time so when this happens what happens is that our business can lose customers it will directly affect our profitability and if suppliers do not have required amount of raw material the proper quantity of raw material the proper quality of raw material it will collectively affect my business so suppliers do not having the supply customer not having the uh, taste and preference for my, for my product or employees are not satisfied so they will quickly change and they will quickly have or rapidly have effect on my business so forming the specific environment and as far as general environment is concerned it's a broader environment which changes slowly and affects slowly so both the environments are having effect specific environment having quick effect on our business immediate effect on our business but general environment affects slowly we cannot see this happening but it affects our business slowly and steadily it affects our business like for example change in political system so elections are being conducted a party is coming to power so five years this party is in power it creates different set of laws it creates different set of legal systems and because of that certain opportunities and threats are created but it takes five years for another party to come in power so new political environment to be created a five year term is to be completed so the change is over the five years so that's why we said that this effect is slow but its effect is far more lasting for example the liberalization of indian economy in 1991 so from 1947 to 1991 india had one economic system it took almost 20 to 30 years for those 
changes to create and new economic policy to come in so for 30 40 years the economic policy was introduced and for 1991 a new economic policy was used and the changes are still going on sometimes it creates opportunities sometimes it creates threats so general environment is slow to change and it affects slowly our business environment and the core elements of this environment is P, E, S, T and L. Pestle. This is political environment. This is economic environment. This is socio-cultural environment. This is technological environment. This is legal environment. We can add two more to it. That is D. Demographic environment. And N. Natural environment. So these are the elements of our general environment and more importantly our business environment that we are referring to so these elements will comprise of general environment they will slowly change but their change will have a long lasting impact on the functioning on the working of our business so let's take these forces one by one but before we take that we have to understand one important notion about business environment is that why do we understand or why there is a need for us to understand business environment why do we need to analyze it the only reason is that we might have understood or learned this in our 11th class SWOT strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats as far as opportunities and threats are considered these are external to the organization and because they are external to the organization they only can be understood when we understand our business environment so in order to understand our opportunities in order to understand our threats we have to understand the business environment and why there is a requirement of understanding opportunities and threats it's simple if we do not know what our opportunities are, why do I use my strengths? If I do not know what are my threats, how do I use my strengths to counter my threats, to reduce my threats? So when we do not understand, when we do not know what our opportunities are and what our threats are, how come a business will be able to use its strength? So to use its strength, one should know the opportunities and the threats and they only can be understood by analyzing the business environment so the biggest importance of understanding business environment is understanding the opportunities and threats and second one we can say is keeping the organization dynamic we said in the features also that this environment keeps on changing either for the good or for the worse so when you understand the environment you know it will be ever-changing you keep your businesses uh, dynamic you keep formulating the plans you keep formulating the strategies and that allows you to keep your business organization flexible dynamic that only we can understand do or practice when we understand the business environment and accordingly we will create the plans and we will create contingency plan so that we can counter threats and we can use opportunities now taking the elements one by one the first element that we will take up is political environment when we discuss political environment it simply refers to political situation or political condition of a country of a state so when we say political condition or a political situation there are certain things which we can understand in it first is the party system political ideology or political intervention so a party system of a country a political ideology of a certain political party and 
political intervention can be some of the elements of our political situation or the condition of a country. When we say party system, whether it is a single party system, whether it is a bi-party system or whether it is a multi-party system. As far as single party system is concerned, you have an example as China, a single party which rules. It only elects the president, a premier of the China, it only elects the other officials of the there is no other party which can oppose this single party. Then we have bi-party system as practiced in UK or in USA. USA we have Democrats and Republicans. So you have only two parties which can contest, which can fight against each other for getting elected on the presidential seat. Then we have multi-party system, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, they are classic examples of multi-party system. Then political ideology. What is the ideology of political parties? If you go towards multi-party system, the ideologies vary. You see BJP having the core Hindu ideology. You see leftist parties having socialist ideology. You have some Muslim, Muslim parties having Muslim ideology. So they are run by their ideologies. And why these are important? Because these ideologies are converted into legal systems. So a classic example is beef ban because BJP is having the core Hindu ideology and in Hindu mythology beef consumption, beef trafficking is not allowed. They treat them as gods. Uh, for, cow, uh, for them cow is holy. So BJP having this core ideology banned selling of meat and consumption of beef in those areas which has these business operations especially in Maharashtra and Delhi so this was banned because their political ideology is based on Hinduism and it created a legal system which affected almost everywhere the beef was sold or consumed then we have political intervention the more the party system the more the parties the political intervention will increase as we can analyze from the example of release of a movie called Padmavat. In that, a certain political fringe group took an offense that you have shown our queen in a very bad light. We will not allow this movie to release, hampering almost majority of uh, cinemas in Rajasthan, in Jaipur, in Jodhpur, in all these adjoining areas where Rajputanas are settled. So this political intervention is more where there is more party system. When there is a single party system, the political intervention will decrease or vice versa. How much of political intervention is there? How much of politics or pol uh, political parties intervene in day to day business activities, whether they allow something, whether they do not allow something, whether they will take an offense to something, whether they will not take an offense to something. So creating a political environment. The second is economic environment. When we say economic environment, it also re represents the economic condition of a country. So when we say economic condition, it has certain elements like inflation, interest rates, tax rates, GDP, per capita income. So these are all other factors which will affect business environment and which will create economic environment. A simple example, if inflation is there, prices of commodities is high, it will create the problem for general public. They will spend less. They will spend less, they will consume less. They will consume less, the firms will produce less. And if the firms are producing less, they have less need of factors of production. So it will create unemployment. And factors of production will become expensive, production will decrease, and consumption will also decrease. If we see today's environment in India, the biggest example for uh, or the problem for India at this time is decreasing GDP. So GDP at 8% once in India's economic system is reduced to 4.5% and now this has created a recessing economic environment. Firms are not investing because GDP is decreasing. 
GDP is decreasing, our income is decreasing. If our income is decreasing, our consumption is reduced. And if our consumption is reduced, firms do not have something to supply to the public. Then what India did? They said we will reduce corporate tax. So by reducing corporate tax, the burden on corporations is reduced. It will induce investments. So in India, they started making India project in 2014 by BJP. They said we will provide credit at low interest rates. We will have less taxations. Our GDP is increasing. We have controlled inflation. So it created a conducive economic environment for the businesses to operate. But slowly, certain problems started to occur. Inflation was increasing. GDP was decreasing, creating less per capita income, disposable income. Interest rates, they are again changing one uh, quarter to another. And tax rates are uh, again reduced. So economic environment simply refers to all these elements which change or which are changed either it will create a opportunity for the business or it will create a threat a simple example will suffice is for example if GDP is high that means growth rate is high it will refer to production is high and if production is high factors of production are increased which creates employment and if employment is high it will create higher disposable income and if disposable income is high it means my consumption is high so people are spending more people are consuming more creating an opportunity for the businesses to open their new firms to diversify their business to expand their business so creating an opportunity but if interest rates are high on credit you are not able to get loans easily so firms will find it difficult to procure loans so small entrepreneurs cottage industries will cease to exist creating a dearth of small scale cottage and micro industries so creating a threat for the industrial growth of a country so these were the two elements of the business environment and rest of the elements that we will discuss in the next lecture thank you so much and see you in the next lecture